What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Please do me a favor, take a moment, hit the like button for me, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Criticism in the comment section, as always, run over to Twitter. You might need to go to Twitter for this, my username, Shutdown Safety. Of course, last video talked a lot about wide receiver and quarterback interactions, defensive reactions, things we hoped that would get built upon with Madden 15. If you haven't seen that video, please do yourself a favor and check it out. Now, I'm not going to be receiving any Madden 15 footage to my knowledge, and I will come out and say right now, after really looking in depth at the IGN footage from last week, Madden 15 may be the worst received Madden in a very, very long time. And I say that because the gameplay does not seem to be that much improved. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. But I think we've seen with Backbreaker, when you start changing camera angles around and you start putting different interfaces on the play calling screens, the community is not very receptive to it. So the play in particular down below is at the five minute and 15 second mark. And as I said, I'm also going to put still images of this up on Twitter if you want to follow along. Now, this is a play-action pass on a second and 14, and the first thing I want you to notice is Marshawn Lynch and Patrick Willis. Willis blitzes during this play, and Lynch obviously fakes the play action, and then they run directly together. Willis makes no attempt to get around him, even though he has all the room in the world, and they kind of magnetize together for the block. Now, the other thing is going to be the receiver, Miller, on the right side of the screen, goes out and has some type of interaction with the linebacker there. And initially, the linebacker keeps him in front of him, which is what he's supposed to do. But then after the interaction, the linebacker cuts off, for really no apparent reason, to the right. And we've already seen with the pre-snap read, the running back is not over there to go into the flat. The tight end is who he should be covering. And then obviously we'll see as the play pans back out, the wide receiver on that side of the screen is not enough of a threat for that linebacker to be reacting. So with Willis having blitz, the middle of the field is now completely wide open. The linebacker on the left side of the screen goes back into his zone trying to shade the slot receiver, but then he starts to skirt off to the left, making the field that much more wide open in the middle. While all this occurs, there's a double team block on the left side of the line against the user. And to me, interestingly enough, as the ball gets thrown and the camera pans back, you can see that that is the least effective block on the offensive line. As a matter of fact, right as the ball gets released, the defensive end is able to go right through both linemen and start to generate pressure toward the quarterback. As the camera goes further back for the, for the tight end, Miller, to complete a wide open pass, you can see the zone coverage breakdown in the screen. You can see the cornerback on the far left side is basically standing there in his zone, close to the sidelines, while the slot receiver and the receiver on the left side of the formation have ran down the field, only to be covered by the linebacker and the safety. These are complete legacy issues. These are issues that are not fixed with AI this year, and issues you are not going to be able to fix because of the camera angle while you're stuck on a defensive end. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on this. I appreciate you sitting through this and checking this out, but please do yourself a favor. Go look at that play again, the 5 minute, 15 second mark. The stills will be up on Twitter. Love to know your thoughts. You guys have a good afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll be back in the week with more content.